Perfect. Då har vi tre filmen igen nu. Fått den att följa Kvite Bua här, det är väldigt viktigt för visst filmen är spänd ner här eller slacket där, då får du hopping och flickring och till slut så ryk filmen så nu är det spänd upp där funkar. Smooth. Så. Har vi säkert tagit någon stopp en sekund, så ska vi ta så fotografera fotografen. Här är säkert fullständigt Ödelagt uansett. Så. Så. Då ska den filmen som var i här inte vara en ny skada. Klart att brukas. Jävla då. A context loaded with a black and white film. Why that in 2014? Well, there's not, not a lot of color in the uh, landscape. It's fairly monochromatic here in the winter. Uh, we're talking about snow and ice and uh, a gray uh, path uh, up into the mountains. And uh, black and white has a, a great uh, power to find the uh, geometry, the form in the photograph. So it's really... Uh, connected with the detail, the texture, the form, uh, and the color at this time of year, in, the, in any way, is, uh, is almost secondary. Is uh, color distracting? No, and anyway, you know, we have a color memory in our brain, so that even if we photograph in black and white, our brain remembers the color and sort of paints the picture in, uh, to some degree. So, I, I don't find color distract. I love color. Uh, the color I see anyway, um, but uh, I love the visual uh, simplified uh, uh, power of black and white still. I know it's 2014 and nobody watches black and white television, but um, there are still movies shot in black and white, believe it or not, and uh, parts of movies. Uh, I think it has a great, uh, a great power. Uh, and even you are talking black and white now. And even I'm apparently shot on black and white now <laughs> in this uh, freezing cold day <laughs> on uh, an Aeroflex with an ingenue zoom lens <laughs> and uh, a snowman filming me, a Yeti. What do you think? I'm going to go to the 